Analyzation of various internal and external organizational environments on IT management for general dynamics information technology. David Harvey. Masters of Information Technology Management, Trident Intercontinental. IDM 590 Integrative Project, Capstone Course. Dr. James Coerlin. January 7, 24. Analyzation of various internal and external organizational environments on IT management for general dynamics information technology. General dynamics information technology, GDIT, is a critical player in the information technology and defense sectors, offering a broad spectrum of services to government agencies and commercial clients worldwide. This overview delves into various dimensions of GDIT, encompassing its core missions, strategic positioning within the broader landscape, organizational structure, and the environmental challenges it confronts. Operating under the General Dynamics umbrella, GDIT is committed to supporting the critical needs of government agencies, including the Department of Defense, intelligence groups, and civilian federal-level entities. The organization's primary services include information technology solutions, cybersecurity, healthcare IT, and cloud computing, reflecting its dedication to meeting the evolving demands of modern technology. In navigating a matrixed organizational structure, GDIT utilizes a diverse team of specialists, including IT experts, engineers, cybersecurity specialists, and project managers. This approach positions GDIT to efficiently deliver tailored solutions that address the dynamic requirements of both government and commercial sectors. However, these endeavors are not without challenges. Socially, the complexity of navigating government regulations and compliance standards is evident. Economically, the organization grapples with budget constraints within the public sector. Additionally, the rapid evolution of technology poses continuous challenges, prompting GDIT to actively address these issues through strategic initiatives such as acquisitions, proactive compliance measures, and staying at the forefront of technological advancements. Emphasizing innovation and collaboration, GDIT positions itself to maintain competitiveness and meet evolving client needs. Critical opportunities for GDIT lie in the increasing demand for IT solutions, especially in government and commercial sectors. However, challenges arise from business competition, the need for constant adaptation to emerging technologies, and issues related to cybersecurity threats and compliance complexities. IT governance at GDIT revolves around ensuring the secure and ethical handling of sensitive information. Robust governance frameworks are in place to oversee IT projects and ensure alignment with organizational goals. Balancing national security priorities with individual privacy rights remains a critical moral challenge. The landscape of IT governance is dynamic and multifaceted. Various frameworks, such as as 8015-2005, COBIT, ITIL, ISO 27002, ISO slash IEC 27001, and NIST cybersecurity framework, present different planning approaches. This paper will explore these coordinating processes and significant concepts to facilitate successful implementation. Additionally, the discussion will address how GDIT can advance organizational development through an effective IT governance plan. The underlying objectives of safety, commonly known as the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, and accessibility, are fundamental. Trusted best practices protocols guide executives in robust IT governance. Following these procedures results in more effective processes, less dependence on external experts, fewer errors, and increased colleague trust. As emphasized by Obama, ND, reliance solely on the military for public security is not sustainable, highlighting the need for a well-funded non-military general security force. This article will explore various frameworks, evaluating GDIT sufficiency, effectiveness, and challenges in the IT landscape. It will provide background information on GDIT and its IT scene, potential areas for growth, and the specifics of the planned IT upgrade project. The approach for the investigation, 
whether through interviews, data analysis, or document review, will be outlined. Moreover, the article will align with recent leadership directives emphasizing the role of artificial intelligence, in line with the Biden-Harris administration's chief order on safe, secure, <coughs> and reliable artificial intelligence, White House, 2023A. This aligns with an emphasis <coughs> on responsible, fair, and robust artificial intelligence development and deployment. General Dynamics Information Technology IT Governance Analysis Elaboration The sections propose that GDIT could strategically leverage COVID or ISO slash IEC 27001 for IT governance, considering its operations in the aerospace, marine, and tactical craft sectors. The conclusion emphasizes the practical application of IT governance, as demonstrated through personal experience at GDIT, contributing to network recertification processes and adherence to frameworks like NIST 800. The commitment to IT governance is essential for navigating cybersecurity challenges and maintaining a secure information infrastructure. It functions by the method of general system theory and socio-technical theory. It has over 40,000 professionals possessing differing skills, including IT experts, engineers, cybersecurity specialists, and project managers, GDIT is positioned to efficiently deliver tailored answers to address the dynamic requirements of various levels of government and commercial sectors. The Aviation Department constructs the following aircraft, G-800, G-700, G-650ER, G-650, G-600, G-500, G-400, and G-280. They are serviced in all 50 states and North America, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia-Pacific, mainly exported by the fixed base operator unit within the company. Individuals and corporate owners typically use these aircraft. Along with the marine crafts, the company provides surface fighters, supports ship construction and production for the United States Navy, and maintains, upgrades, and life cycle accommodations. This unit also offers commercial ships for customers such as Electric Boat, Bath Iron, and NASCO. Nuclear-powered submarines are in the equation as well. Virginia-class submarine, Columbia submarine, Arleigh Burke-class, DDG-51, destroyer, John Lewis-class, TAO-205, fleet replenishment oiler, an expeditionary sea base ESB ship are some of the ocean crafts the company sells and provides maintenance services. The land combat devices are also used worldwide, tracked and wheeled, and all fall under the European Land Systems and Ordnance and Tactical Systems OTS, sector. A few of these vehicles are Abrams Main Battle Tank, Striker Wheeled Vehicle, Light Armored Vehicle, Ajax Slash Ascot Tracked Vehicle, Pander slash Piranha Armored Vehicle, Duro slash Eagle Tactical Vehicle These types of devices are typically loaded with heavy weapons like MK47 slash M19 both machine guns and grenade launchers and usually purchased by United States government and non-U.N. governments, GDIT Annual Report, 2022. Jason W. Aiken is the Executive Vice President of Technologies and Chief Financial Officer, he has worked with the company since 2006. Christopher J. Brady, Vice President and President of Engineering and C4 Systems of General Dynamics, has held a position with the company from 2004 to 2013. Mark L. Burns is the Vice President of the company and President of Gulfstream Aerospace, who worked with the company from 2008 to 2015. Danny Deep, Vice President and President of GDIT Land, worked with the company from 2018 to 2020. Amy Gilliland has been the Senior Vice President and has held various other positions with the company from 2008 to the present. Phoebe N. Novakovic has been a Chairman and Chief Executive Officer for over 10 years. Robert E. Smith, Executive Vice President, Marine Systems 4 years Mark C. Royalet, Executive Vice President, Combat Systems 10 Years, General Dynamics, Financial Reports, Annual Report and Proxy Statement, ND. To simply briefly summarize this section, 
These various units within in the company help each other function like a well-oiled machine or organic organization similar to an insect colony. General Dynamics Information Technology IT Governance Plan Review The issue that numerous IT professionals are confronting is that there are various arranging systems or rules like as AD 15-2005, COVID, ITIL, ISO 27002, ISO slash IEC 27001, and NIST cybersecurity framework. These structures have unique functionality. Convincing security organization guidelines ensures that well-being endeavors are agreed upon regarding business objectives, staff, and managerial peers. Along these lines, various methodologies and systems are spread out, fluctuating between associations and legislative-ran organizations. Currently, one will list summarized procedures and proposed frameworks using the resources referred to and review the recorded systems. It is vital to be aware of security concerns and possibilities to evaluate the possible impact on business regarding constantly assessing and changing security strategies to stay mindful of the plan, use of COVID-5 for ISACA strategy implementation, ND. In a short and plain elaboration, the main components of IT governance are the alignment of business in IT, IT control framework, measuring its efficiency, and IT risk management, what is IT governance? Definition and best practices, ND. The following frameworks are detailed in the explanation, there are five. ITIL, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, ITIL, is the accepted norm of best methods for IT administration observed by executives and distributed by governments to provide best practices to IT administration management. ITIL was made due to the expanded reliance on data innovation to meet commercial business needs, Invences Learning, 2021. COVID, the Control Objectives for Information and Related Technology, COVID, is a guideline. Furthermore, it is a set of controlled factors created by the Information Systems Audit and Control Association, ISACA, and the IT Governance Institute, ITGI. It is distributed by ITGI and situated typically from a governance level and control system, COVID-2019 and COVID-5 comparison, and .d. ISO 27001 is an international framework that helps corporations with securing data resources. It gives an executive staff structure to ensure that information security remains classified, INTE Grable, and accessible to every set of various forms of data. The ISO 27001 system was circulated in 2013 by the ISO, International Organization for Standardization, and IEC, International Electrotechnical Commission, and has a place with the ISO 27000 group of principles. This framework clears up how to carry out data security controls for security risks and threats, ISO 27001, the Information Security Standard IT Governance USA, ND. Val IT is a value-driven structure that aids organizations in guaranteeing that their IT investments render value to the corporation. It presents a structure for identifying IT strategy, evaluating IT operation, and constructing knowledgeable outcomes about IT investments. Val IT underlines the significance of aligning IT with business goals and assessing the return on investment, ROI, of IT developments. This plan highlights boosting I.T's value contribution to the organization, concentrating on strategic alignment, performance measurement, and continuous improvement. Control Objectives for Information and Related Technologies, also known as COVID. This framework can generally operate due to the generalized controls utilized within information technology and tending to IT investments with calculated business objectives in the aerospace, marine, and tactical craft sectors, CHIN, 2022. This GDIT organization could go with any of the series frameworks related to ISO slash IEC 27001, Information ETAL, Information Security Management Guidelines that systematically manage sensitive company information, ensuring its confidentiality, integrity, and availability. The framework can safeguard sensitive information about aerospace, marine, 
and tactical craft technologies. Also, regular risk assessments by ISO slash IEC 27001 are conducted to identify and address potential security threats in the global IT environment, CHIN, 2022. GDIT Infrastructure Elaboration Solutions and Challenges No corporation is without flaws, for example, ethical considerations include responsible handling of sensitive information, ensuring transparency in client interactions, and adhering to ethical standards in technological development. GDIT faces challenges on various fronts. Socially, they must address concerns about potential data breaches. Balancing national security priorities with individual privacy rights remains a critical ethical challenge. GDIT encounters challenges across social, economic, and technological dimensions in a dynamic environment. Socially, navigating government regulations and compliance standards is complex. A GD part was connected to a 2018 school transport bombing in Yemen, completed by Saudi Arabia, which killed many youngsters and has been perceived as an atrocity. The organization provided weapons and munitions to Israel, which were reportedly used in assaults on Palestinian civilians, and considered this a human rights violation and war crimes. Besides, GD has $20.5 billion in atomic weapons contracts, which are unlawful under global regulation. GD offers its items to dictator systems through trade with nations like Canada. In 2014, Canada granted GD a $13 billion 14-year agreement to furnish Saudi Arabia with military vehicles, which has been vigorously censured for Canada's imperfect examination of arms commodities and infringement of the arms exchange settlement when Trudeau alluded to dropping the arrangement in 2018. GD cautioned billions of dollars of risk related with the cancellation of its contract, general dynamics, financial reports, annual report and proxy statement, ND. Economically, the organization grapples with budget constraints within the public sector. Additionally, the rapid evolution of technology poses continuous challenges. In response, GDIT actively addresses these challenges through strategic initiatives such as acquisitions. In response, GDIT proactively addresses challenges through strategic investments in cybersecurity, ethical compliance, employee training, and staying at the forefront of technological advancements. Emphasizing innovation and collaboration, GDIT positions itself to maintain competitiveness and meet evolving client needs. Critical opportunities for GDIT lie in the increasing demand for IT answers, particularly in government and commercial sectors. However, Challenges arise from business competition, the need for constant adaptation to emerging technologies, and issues related to cybersecurity threats and compliance complexities. Other corporate challenges include updates on hardware, software, networks, and data management systems. The utilization of state-of-the-art technologies for aerospace, marine, and tactical systems. Some of the challenges in the older infrastructure consist of siloed frameworks, obsolete technologies, and limited AI integration. Main components of upgrade servers. Networking hardware, storage solutions, software devices, firewalls, and intrusion detection slash prevention devices, endpoint security arrangements. Key subjects and personnel for stakeholder communication, IT personnel engagement, office heads interaction, end user communication, and communication channels. Personalized contribution. In my role within GDIT, I actively contribute to the organization's success by leveraging my skills and providing valuable advice to senior management on cybersecurity policy matters. I support the Department of Defense, addressing challenges such as troubleshooting and user requests for both Splunk and RSA systems. I conduct thorough research on intra-agency and external cybersecurity policies, authorities, and government issuances to navigate these challenges. Simultaneously, I pursue opportunities for personal growth and contribution through actively obtaining a Master of Science in Information Technology Management degree with a concentration in Information Assurance and Cybersecurity Management. Working closely with executive management further enhances my cybersecurity expertise.
Conclusion In conclusion, General Dynamics Information Technology GDIT, is a pivotal player in the information technology and defense sectors, providing diverse services to government agencies and commercial clients globally. This overview has explored various dimensions of GDIT, highlighting its core missions, strategic positioning, organizational structure, and the challenges it faces in a dynamic environment. As a vital arm under the General Dynamics umbrella, GDIT is committed to serving the critical needs of government agencies, including the Department of Defense, intelligence groups, and federal-level entities. Offering services such as information technology solutions, cybersecurity, healthcare IT, and cloud computing, GDIT exhibits a dedication to adapting to the evolving demands of modern technology. Operating within a matrixed organizational structure, GDIT leverages a diverse team of specialists, including IT experts, engineers, cybersecurity specialists, and project managers. This approach positions GDIT to deliver tailored solutions efficiently, addressing the dynamic requirements of government and commercial sectors. However, these efforts are not without challenges, encompassing social, economic, and technological dimensions. Socially, navigating government regulations and compliance standards is complex, while GDIT grapples with budget constraints economically within the public sector. Additionally, the rapid evolution of technology poses continuous challenges, prompting GDIT to address them proactively through strategic initiatives and acquisitions and stay at the forefront of technological advancements. Emphasizing innovation and collaboration, GDIT positions itself to maintain competitiveness and meet evolving client needs. Opportunities for GDIT lie in the increasing demand for IT solutions, particularly in government and commercial sectors. However, challenges arise from business competition, the need for constant adaptation to emerging technologies, and issues related to cybersecurity threats and compliance complexities. The paper has also explored the dynamic landscape of IT governance, introducing various frameworks and concepts that GDIT can adopt to enhance organizational development through an effective IT governance plan. The examination further delves into GDIT's infrastructure, highlighting solutions and challenges in upgrading key components such as servers, networking hardware, storage solutions, software devices, firewalls, and endpoint security arrangements. Stakeholder communication strategies, IT personnel engagement, interaction with office heads, and end-user communication have been detailed to ensure the success of a technology refresh project. Exploring IT governance frameworks, including COVID, ISO slash IEC 27001, and VALID, offers insights into practical planning approaches. Challenges within GDIT extend beyond technology, touching on ethical considerations and societal responsibilities. The organization faces scrutiny for its involvement in activities perceived as human rights violations and war crimes. Economically, the corporation contends with budget constraints in the public sector. Nonetheless, GDIT actively addresses these challenges through strategic investments, ethical compliance, employee training, and innovation. GDIT's role in the aerospace, marine, and tactical system sectors is complex and multifaceted. The examination provides a comprehensive understanding of the organization's strengths, challenges, and opportunities. By adopting effective IT governance plans, leveraging advanced technologies, and addressing societal and ethical considerations, GDIT can navigate the intricacies of the IT landscape successfully. The commitment to transparency, innovation, and collaboration positions GDIT to remain a key player in the ever-evolving fields of information technology and defense.